one of them days. Wait a minute. Oh, no, nah, that's not it. in Africa, man. Got my feet kicked up. Today is a good day. Good morning to all my people. It's one of them days. Just happy to be here. I got all my children with me. We just having a father, children, hangout moment. I just took my children outside to go play. <laughs> Imagine your kids tell you, it's boring out here outside. Where are all my friends at? They in school. Y'all going to be in school in a few in a few days. We got to get everything together. <laughs> I'm never taking my children outside. My oldest son told me, I'm bored, Dad. Bored? You don't know how to have fun? Just play hot, hot and go see. <laughs> my little baby just threw the cup at me. Don't never take your kids outside. What's up, Dave Payne? God bless you, my G. Yeah, I didn't move to another part of Africa. I got two parts of Africa. One, I'm doing my, my real estate business. This one is a different kind of real estate business. There you go. Boy, look at you. Oh, man. What's, the, what's, what's going on? Y'all all right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought y'all was coming, you know. Huh, take your take your cup, boom boom. Huh? Yeah. Uh uh, baby, you can't climb up there, baby. You gonna uh 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 uh. Get down from there. I told you, quit climbing on this thing, baby. This a patio upstairs, baby. You wanna fall downstairs? Okay, go on back in there. <laughs> you put the cup down. What's happening, boy? Yeah, welcome to welcome to family life, man. It's all part about it. Yeah, we in Nairobi, Kenya. I can't wait to go to this beach where I can show y'all this fucking water that look like you could drink it. They got an ocean out here. Because I'm on I'm on the east side of Africa now. My Filmo Africa headquarters on the west side of Africa. That's Burkina Faso. That's on top of Ghana by Nigeria and all of that. This is East Africa, where they have beaches at. That's incredible. Have you ever been to a beach and it ain't even one cigarette butt out there? It ain't a, a potato chip bag. It ain't nothing. I'm talking about nothing. I never saw a beach that don't even got one piece of trash. These folk love their beaches out here, man. So shout out to Tanzania. Shout out to Uganda. Shout out to, where else right here? Ethiopia. Etria, R.P. Nipsey Hussle, all his family live in Ethiopia. Everybody look exactly like Nipsey Hussle. And in Morocco, that's North Africa, everybody look like French Montana. I say, motherfucker. So everybody look exactly the same. French Montana, no wonder. Yeah, why do you think he don't care about rap that much? Once he hit in America, he just came back to his country and got even more richer. You know what I mean? Yeah, shout out to my Chinese passport. I'm on my way to Hong Kong and Shenzhen. I hope I don't get the virus out there. I got to go order my cell phones and my flat screen TVs. They say Traplix. So I need y'all to buy a TV from me, and they're going to have every movie I ever made. It's the first TV you ever going to see. It's an Android TV, Traplix smart TV with 100 movies on there. I'm going to be the first nigga selling TVs, nigga, with all my movies already on there. Just in case you ain't got internet and you ain't got no cable bill. Every, every fucking video film I ever made will be on my TV and on my new cell phone. So shout out to China. I put up my own money, nigga. I ain't get no loan. I ain't do no dick riding. I ain't need to borrow nothing from nobody. JT rich already with my own money. I put up, see, they thought I, they thought I was on some broke shit. I fooled everybody in America. They thought I was broke. Nigga, I saved every dollar. Nigga, brought my shit to a whole nother country. Okay, what we doing? Look at this shit. All our children. 
Look, I'm ordering new keyboard. Shout out to my new keyboard right here. He finally came in. This bitch is a beauty. I had to ship it all the way from Burkina. They charged me $2,500. Is that a keyboard? Yes. Uh-uh, you don't play on my keyboard, girl. Get off my keyboard. You move. Get off that. No, he all right. He can stand on that. She can't go. Nah, real talk. Look at this Black American kids in Africa. That's my housekeeper right there. She cooked the food. Shout out to my housekeeper. No, no, no. My, 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 my iPad. <laughs> Teenage daughter in there. Man, listen to me. Okay, you did what? Okay, we're going to get it fixed, baby. Shout out to my baby. No, this shit for real. This ain't no joke. I really did it. I really, I really found the blueprint for black for a black man. Sometimes you just gotta take your show on the road, nigga. You think arguing with niggas in the same neighborhood is gonna get you somewhere? Guess how you beat all them niggas? Psh, boy, they come outside, nigga. Go to my house. My shit empty, nigga. I'm gone. Did you think I the bay didn't even know I was gone from the bay, nigga, for a whole year? By the time niggas realized I was living in Atlanta. See, this how you beat the problems of black America? Get the fuck away from hella niggas and go do your own thing. That's how you're going to be all right. That's the secret. So I just had to get on my live real quick so I could talk to my people on, on Instagram. Yes, I'm still working. Everything working out, you know. I take the good with the bad. I take the struggle with the pain, the, the happiness, the touchdowns, the losses. I put all that shit together. You know, there's no need to cry about no loss. And there's no need to cry about who don't fuck with you. You know what I mean? Imagine niggas talking about they don't fuck with me. But in reality, I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with JT. Imagine imagine 75% of the whole Bay Area start talking about, oh yeah, I don't fuck with I don't fuck with JT. JT don't fuck with you. Nigga, I ain't asked you niggas for nothing. I don't need your bitch from you. I don't need no guns from you, nigga. I don't need no no money from you. I don't need no weed from you. Nigga, so this for all of my hater niggas who sneak and watch my shit, man. Fuck you, niggas, boy. I told you. I'm going to be too busy to deal with you, niggas, boy. Straight up, nigga. I'm buying land in Kenya right now by the ocean. That's my new thing. So when you see me with my feet in the water on my own land... Then you gonna, that's when I'm going to feel like I really made it. Not no mansion. Mansions, I could build my own mansion, so that ain't it. Nope. I want this land by the ocean that look like Hawaii. It look like Miami. It look like Puerto Rico. But it's Africa. God damn it. God damn it. Chalky Page is bad man Chalky. If you're looking for Chalky, go follow his page. Is bad man underscore Chalky. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my nigga Chalky. He in Burkina Faso, nigga. I'm in Kenya. They handling my business out there. I'm handling some new business. Yeah, follow Chalky. Dang fame, you know it, bro. Keeping it smooth. May Allah bless you too, bro. That's right. Humbly remain in Dame Fame. Don't let them change you. And know when it's time to go somewhere else, Dame Fame. I'm going to say that again. And know when it's time to go somewhere else. Nigga ain't got, just because we real bay niggas and I'm a Frisco film on nigga, but I learned. Niggas don't want the same thing I want, so I can't be part of that shit. I don't need to be part of them niggas to make it. I don't need no cosign from no nigga. <laughs> I could co-sign for Filmo niggas. Filmo nigga can't co-sign for me. I'm the biggest dog that ever been a Filmo nigga. And ain't no nigga bigger than me in, out of Frisco. It ain't no nigga from Frisco bigger than me. Ain't a nigga in Frisco richer than me. Even the niggas with hair around bricks and all of that. That's, that's physical cash, nigga. I put all my cash into something that made me more money. That the police can't take. So that mean I'm richer than a nigga with all the kilos. Nigga, you can't even enjoy the money. I'm, I'm, I'm richer than a nigga with all the pussy for sale. 
You got niggas right now, like filthy rich and them bitch ass niggas getting money, right? Nigga buying cars and jewelry and clothes. Niggas ain't feeding nobody. Niggas ain't lifting nobody. Niggas ain't building no communities. So all of them niggas that that we that you know we could salute them niggas for doing what they do. We street niggas, we salute. But that shit, niggas that that I learned in the Black America, niggas is stingy. And niggas not building for their people. They building to show you they got more than you. That's when murder come. Don't worry, you're going to hear about them niggas' murders and all type of shit. Niggas going to get back dough, snitching shit coming out on niggas to, to maintain money. You will put your folks behind. You will let your folks go to jail. Or you will put them in jail to keep your shit. You know what I mean? These is facts. It's a price to be a rich nigga in America. Yeah, it's a price tag that come with that shit. A lot of backdooring, a lot of a lot of cut throwing. Niggas don't be finding out till later. That's why I say, boy, can't no nigga claim my success. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't tell me what to call out. Fuck Filthy Rich. He my op. Nigga, you thought me and Filthy Rich was cool? Man, fuck that nigga. Nigga sold little girls. Nigga, my folks in jail. Nigga, that nigga had his daughter selling his little daughter away in Las Vegas. Fuck that nigga, boy. I don't look up to no nigga because they sell little kids for money. Nigga, fuck you too, nigga. I'm not... Listen, bro, go and get off my live. I ain't got to talk to you, nigga. I'll block your bitch ass, nigga. JT retarded. I ain't cool with none of you niggas, boy. If we ain't cool, nigga, like that, nigga, I ain't cool with you niggas, boy. I don't need none of you niggas, boy. Period. I don't care. You see how many followers I got? Nigga, I don't pay for followers or none of that shit. Nigga, this is a new pay. I done went through. JT, the bigger figure, got bought. Fig, Panamera pay. By you niggas. So, therefore, if you don't like my opinion, nigga, my mouth always been reckless. Man, fuck any nigga I don't like. Nigga, period. Sorry about that. Nigga. He know it. I know it, nigga. I ain't bigger. I ain't too big to cuss one of my bitch ass ops out. Nigga. Hell nah. Hell nah, it don't boost me, but it lets me let you know that I know the truth about niggas. Period, nigga. Yeah, sorry about that, nigga. I'm I'm a stupid ass nigga, boy. Why you think the whole bay hate me right now? Nigga, fuck you niggas, nigga. The bay can't do shit to me, nigga. When I just came back, the bay tried to put me in prison, nigga. Nigga, I came back on that Phil Molana shit, nigga. What's that? Nigga hell it hunting around drums finna kill you niggas. See? Yeah, nigga, see. So therefore, I ain't, nigga, I ain't loyal to nobody but myself and my family, nigga. Nah, I'm just telling you, you can't come on no grown nigga page like me, nigga. I'm a retarded, re reckless nigga, boy. Did you see I fell out with everybody, nigga, and then nobody do shit? Couldn't do shit, from, including Zoda Roaster, who tried to claim like he done something. Nigga, he didn't tell you that he was diving over fucking things. Him and Mr. Fab, nigga, running in that stove from the kill them niggas. Thank God I didn't squeeze that trigger. Never swing, nigga, and you don't know. If you ain't got no pistol on, nigga, I'm a pistol orientated nigga. I ain't no fighting, just a fight, nigga. Even though I beat me a couple niggas up while I was out there, though. That shit don't mean nothing. Niggas was cloud chasing. That's it. I had shit to do, nigga. I just came to the bay to come make my movie shit. I did it. And then I was gone. I ain't need to be there, nigga. Ain't no money there. Ain't nothing there for me. Shout out to a few niggas I love there. That's it. But other than that, I want to be your enemy, nigga. I don't want to be your friend. I want I want you all to hate me. I want y'all to join forces like y'all did. I want all the niggas. <laughs> I want all the niggas to join forces. And be like, fuck JT. Fuck JT. Meanwhile, I'm getting money, getting rich, nigga. Got my family way somewhere else, living a whole nother life. Nigga, you niggas can't handle a nigga like me, bro. I'm the only nigga from the Bay Area that was in every nigga hood by myself, nigga. I left the Bay with all my stripes. You hear me? Yeah, so just know that. And being humble is what I'm doing, telling the truth. That's being humble. So you be humble too, I, I did, did you say your Fajr prayer, I, this morning at 5 a.m.? Was you on your knees praying this morning? I was. Was you? I, salam alaikum. Yeah, see, be careful now. You're dealing with a praying man. Where your Quran at, sir? Here go mine right here. Up top right there. Yeah, I, you stay humble. I see. I hate when niggas tell me what I should do. That's what. That's when I get to cussing you niggas out. How they gonna tell me what to do? Nigga, do what you need to do. Nigga, I'm already thoroughly trained. Nigga, I just made it through America. Nigga, you know what I mean? 
I made it through America, nigga. No felonies, nigga. I got my own money, nigga. I bust my own guns, nigga. I didn't need no gang with me. You should learn from a guy like me. Nigga, I established business and movements all over America. You should learn from a nigga like me. Sorry about that. If, if I sound arrogant, the truth be hurting niggas. Real shit. Nigga. See that? See that? A humble nigga is just tell the truth. That's humble. Tell the truth. We're just having a discussion and I'm telling the truth. Nah, that ain't the same. That ain't the same nothing you gave me, brother. That, that's something I bought. I bought that on my own, buddy. Sorry about that. You ain't get whatever Quran you gave me. If you did, I think some people did give me some Qurans before. I don't know who you is, but guess what? It don't matter what you gave me. I gave myself the time. Well, I didn't give myself. God, Allah gave me the time to read it and then study it and then be my own man. As I'm going through street nigga shit, I never lost my Islam. I never lost my prayers. I never lost being a man to help the community. I won. So if you don't like that, man, I don't give a fuck. Sorry about that, nigga. Hey, I got to talk my shit because, nigga, I'm supposed to. Straight up, nigga. <laughs> I don't need no cosign from nobody, nigga. I could cosign you, but you can't cosign me. I could put you on in America. You can't put me on in America. I could put you on in Africa. You can't put me on in Africa. So therefore, I could put you on. You should be calm. Don't tell me what to do. I don't even like you niggas' opinions. Niggas ain't even did shit in their life yet. Trying to give a nigga who did hella shit already. Opinion. I don't listen to that. I cuss niggas out. And if a nigga keep talking too much on my page, I just block their ass out. Nigga, I don't even got to talk to you. What the fuck? Nigga, I ain't here. <laughs> I'm on here for people that love me and fuck with me, man. I ain't here for you other weirdo ass niggas that be coming on my page with all that other foo-foo ass shit. Go get your baby mama out the projects, nigga. Go get your kids out the projects, nigga. And I'm just telling you. And I, if you taking what I'm saying personal, nigga, I don't, I'm talking to all of y'all, nigga, whoever feel like that. If that's you, nigga, I'm talking to you. Nigga, I'm out here enjoying my life. Nigga, you don't worry about some niggas in America. The fuck? That's all good. But still, don't tell me to be humble, nigga. When I'm talking this base shit, that ain't nothing to be humble about. Man, fuck these niggas, boy. Yeah. 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 So quit, quit typing to me. Nigga, I don't want to hear that shit. Give a fuck what you gave me, man. I ain't listen. I don't care. That don't give you no points with me. That give you points with Allah. Be happy with him. Uh, shit, I don't know you, nigga. I don't remember you or know you. So therefore, I'm talking to a computer right now. You could be a fucking artificial intelligence person right now. For all I know. Yeah. And that's the truth. You got to let niggas know facts. Stand on facts, y'all. Especially, nigga. And if you ever been through it with some niggas, niggas remain, remain the same. The last time you saw me, baby niggas, I got the same attitude. It's the same shit. Nigga, hey, listen. Niggas watching my life now. Now you hearing about me way somewhere else. What JT doing? JT out there balling, nigga. That nigga going country to country, buying 10 acres at a time, nigga. 5, 10 acres, 20 acres, nigga. JT out there building neighborhoods, and he out there putting film mode on everything. Film mode, film mode, film mode. Why? Because I'll never be back there with them niggas. I don't sell dope. I don't gang bang. Listen, I don't sell dope. I don't gang bang. And I don't stand in front of corners no more, fucking in front of police stations and stand in front of. Standing in front of corner stores and gas stations. I don't stand around. I don't stand in front of apartment complexes no more. You know, hanging out with my niggas. Nah, I don't do that. That's for you niggas to do. That's for you niggas to do. Stand out, hang out, you know, sell some weed, sell some pills, sell some dope. I don't got to do that no more, nigga. That's for you niggas. See that? Yeah, that's the real facts right there, nigga. I told niggas in 92, let's get out the dope game. Way in 92, I was the first young nigga saying, hey, bro, quit selling dope. Let's do music. Nigga, you make more money off a thousand CDs. You used to make $8,000 off 1,000 CDs that you just paid $1,100 for. So if you make an album in your house for free and press it up 
for 1100 Take it to the stores and make $8,000, nigga. I found that out in 1992 and 93. I ain't never went back to selling dope again or pussy or credit card scams or I got to rob to get the money. Fuck no, nigga. I do music. Nigga, I make a product and sell it to a white man. They should have never let me let, let me learn that as a kid watching E-42 short. Nigga, I never had to go back to selling dope since the 90s. Nigga, and I wasn't no big dope dealer anyway. I was just a little punk-ass rock seller. That shit ain't did nothing for me, man. And I ain't better than nobody else. I made this choice to live how I'm living. Nigga, y'all niggas do what y'all want. I don't make it. I, I'm not here to talk down on the nigga. Who, man, I don't care if you do sell little girls. You just a bitch-ass nigga to me that sell little girls with your pimp business. Nigga, fuck you and them bitches, nigga. See, I got to tell a nigga the truth because I got daughters, nigga, so I don't respect pimps, nigga. Any nigga who got daughters shouldn't be respecting no pimp. I don't respect them, nigga. Yeah, I don't respect them. And I set a pimp up. And I help a pimp get killed, nigga. Set your bitch ass up, nigga. Real talk. I don't have no love for no pimp niggas at all. I don't care if I got some homeboys that's pimps. Listen, I warrant them niggas. Right, leave them hoes alone, nigga. That shit gonna be bad luck. Nigga, Farrakhan said you better off being a bank robber or a murderer before you sell a lot of women. It gonna come with a price tag that you're not gonna wanna pay at the end of your fun time. It gonna come with a price tag and you're gonna be regretting that shit, nigga. Yeah. Some of you niggas, you pimp niggas, got the worst life in the world. Some of the niggas that got the money off the pimping got the worst life in the world. They won't tell you that, though. Nigga, you got pimp niggas with AIDS right now, but they look fresh. They fresh and they got a car. Niggas got herpes and AIDS, nigga, and syphilis, nigga, right now. But they got a Lambo truck. Yeah, 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 but you following me, though. So if you don't like me talking, you should get up off of here, bitch-ass nigga. See that? Now, I'm going to let you type one more thing, and then I'm going to just block you. You can't never see me again. Or just leave on your own. Yeah, nigga, you can't talk to me. Nigga, I talk all the time. Nigga, my name's JT. That's how I got paid. Nigga, with my mouthpiece. And I beat one of you niggas up, or I pop one of you niggas, boy. Now, either way it go. So, I back up what I say, and that's all that matter. And I'm doing me. You watching my page, nigga. I'm not watching you. Yeah, bitch-ass nigga. See that? Matter of fact, let me go and block you right now just for fun so I can prove to you. Nigga, you should have shut up, nigga. I ain't asking for your permission. Let me block you from right now. Bow. Now you gone. See that? Yeah, nigga, JT, you this, that. Nigga, listen, I'm doing me. I'm 47 years old. Nigga, I'm not 37 years old. And I'm not 27 years old. I'm probably old enough to be your dad. Nigga should calm down, nigga, and learn from a nigga like me. I beat the streets. I beat the government. That's something important for a nigga to learn. How did you beat the streets? How did you beat the government? Niggas kept on moving with my shit. I didn't tie myself to no niggas. I always be my own man. I went places niggas, other niggas was scared to go. But I went in the motherfucking ghettos by myself. Cause I still had rap dreams and I'm a street nigga. So to get on, you gotta go to ghettos to get on, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I did that in America, but now I'm gone. Never to be back again. I'm not coming back to no coronavirus, nigga. I'm not coming back to no motherfucking, uh, what they call it? Martial law finna start in a minute. I'm not coming back, nigga. To be part of some niggas that act like, oh, we love you, fig, and then kill you tonight. This morning, niggas say, oh, we love you, but by tonight, the murder plot is on, nigga. I I, I, I beat that shit. Why? I, I seen the murders before it happened. I seen my death a hundred times before I even got killed. I saw it. I was finna be dead. I keep fucking with these niggas. I'm gonna be dead. This nigga right here. Super Grammy, nigga. Nigga, I don't owe this nigga nothing, but nigga, he don't like me, nigga. I don't like him, nigga, but I know. But if I don't want to kill him, I might as well leave. Why? This nigga kill me if I put my guards down. Why you think I always had a bulletproof vest on and two guns, nigga? Yeah, this shit ain't no joke. 
bulletproof vest and two guns, nigga. That way I could I could have a, a better chance to survive the shootout. One right here is over with. Nigga, one right here is over with. But niggas ain't got that good aim all the time. So most likely it's going to hit right here somewhere. So I bought me a level four vest, nigga. Thin body, but nigga with the plate in it, nigga, from the back to the front. So, nigga, if I do get hit and I catch one of them 7.6 tools. See, I, this war talk, nigga. You ain't going to be in the game. I hope you niggas that's in the streets right now, you bulletproof vesting. Okay, all that Glock with the 30 shit on it, that don't mean nothing. Do you got your vest on too? Okay. You still playing the role in the street? Go buy a vest, nigga. They four, five hundred, six hundred, nigga. Buy a real one. Don't buy no little big, bulky, ugly one. Go get you a real one, boy, because you're going to need it if you still playing the streets. You got niggas like, oh, I don't need to do all that. Cool, God bless you. Go ahead, nigga. A nigga who really protecting his life, you got to invest in protecting your life because you don't know what day a nigga is going to do the back door on you. You don't know. That's why it's called back door. You watching the front door. You ain't tripping on the back door. That's the door that go there. Why? Oh, my niggas back there, they got me. Nobody got you, boy. You only got yourself. Yes, you got some niggas that love you. And yes, they show you that they love you. They tell you that. They give you the energy. You don't know the day that the back door unfold, nigga. Yeah, nah, you don't need a bulletproof for your head. We ain't talking bulletproofs for your head. We talking about bulletproof. Bullet, nigga, bulletproof vest is a good asset to a street nigga. If you gonna die, you gonna die. But nigga, catching one in a body, nigga, will kill you, boy. Catch one in the leg or the shoulders will kill you. Okay? These is facts now. You can act tough if you want. And you can act like you a killer. Niggas ain't got this. Niggas ain't. Hey, man, I bought a bulletproof car, nigga, to make sure I'm going to be straight sitting in every parking lot and lock all three of them doors. Keep this door open so if a nigga shoot at my shit, I can bounce out when this clip empty and give it to him, nigga. See, I live this shit. It's a difference between a nigga who talking it and who walked it already. How you think I survived in Atlanta and Alabama by myself? I never had a Bay nigga with me, a Frisco nigga with me. I never had no nigga with me. Did you think they just let me walk through there by myself? Yeah, they let me come in and then there was niggas that was plotting, but I was so game orientated, gun orientated, bulletproof oriented. Man, JT is war ready, nigga. I'm a war ready nigga, bro. I'm from Fillmore, my nigga. I watch my own niggas kill my niggas. We didn't get killed by Hunters Point niggas, even though we was killing Hunters Point niggas, though. When niggas from Fillmore do a drive by over there, them niggas die. When they come do a drive by in our neighborhood, you, they get leg shots, a couple arm shots, you know, a couple niggas. They ain't never killed the film on nigga on the drive-by. So I watch bad luck happen since we killed Hunters Point niggas and Lakeview niggas and all that shit. Then God gave us the film on curse. We gon' made us kill each other. Damn. We was the most tightest neighborhood ever. We celebrate every time niggas went on a mission, nigga, and niggas end up on the news on that side of town. That was a celebration. Celebration turned into sadness, nigga. Niggas start killing each other, nigga. All the film on niggas got killed by a nigga that he know. Nigga didn't get killed by a stranger. Nigga got killed by his friend. See that? Well, check this out. Listen, li listen, little large pit bulls. Fuck you, nigga. You ain't no street nigga that's in street shit. Street niggas is in the shit, nigga. Fuck you in your happy life. Nigga, get off my life before I block your bitch ass next. And you never can. You got to come back with a fake page to watch it live again. Bitch ass nigga, stay out of my business. Nigga, I'm talking about niggas like me who get in the shit. Nigga, I ain't talking about no nigga like you from church. Nigga, go to school and work. Nigga, I'm talking about nigga that don't go to school, don't go to church. Nigga, fuck everything, nigga. I'm talking about the us niggas. I ain't talking about no nigga like you, man. Quit adding your life to my life. Nigga, chop a bullets, nigga. I gave them out and I took them. Nigga, them bitches was flying by my face. Nigga, shut up. Nigga, you ain't never lived this life, nigga. See? That's you niggas' problem, nigga. You worry about... I'm, I'm on here discussing for niggas who live like this. And then a the schoolboy ass nigga like, Oh, if you live good, you don't have to do that. Bitch, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking about niggas like me. Nigga. 
I'm talking about a nigga like me. Hey, look. Fuck a nigga named Jay Diggs and them, bro. Don't bring them niggas' names up, bro. Them niggas clowns, bro. I ain't worried about none of them niggas, boy. I was in them niggas' hoods doing my movies and shit, nigga. I'm in them niggas' hoods handling my business, nigga. Period. I don't wait around for no nigga. I got on when it was time for me to have my baby, nigga. That's it. Sorry about that. The last fight I had in the bay, nigga, I beat me a nigga up, nigga. He tried to act like he won. But, nigga, your face knotted up. How you won? You got a knot here. Your lip blood, nigga. You got blood. If it's blood on your face, you didn't win, nigga. I never had blood drawn from me, nigga. Only blood drawn from me was from bullets in Atlanta, nigga. Shootouts. Gunplay. That's it. Nigga, same here, nigga. Shootouts and bullets is what made me bleed. A nigga never made me bleed. Yeah. And I ain't going to jail for no nigga. But I don't mean I ain't going to put that pistol to your nose. As though the roaster, how he had to go diving over the... Oh, he got a gun. He tried to swing. Nigga, I got pistols on me. Nigga, I'm not here to fight. I'm here to squash this shit on Mr. Fab's behalf. But since Mr. Fab sitting on me, nigga, I'm going to squash this shit. Nigga, I'm not here to fight. I'm here to squash this shit on Mr. Fab's behalf. But since Mr. Fab set me up, that's okay. He had to run in the store too, nigga. Yeah, nigga. That's why they never put the video footage out. Mmm. We was in front of the dope era, nigga. The camera's all right there. Why they never release that footage? It make me look like a psychopath. I walk up by myself. It's five niggas right there, and I walk up by myself, nigga. <laughs> nigga, that, the bait wasn't expecting that. You know, JT gonna come by himself. I didn't bring no niggas with me. Five niggas standing there. We start talking and walk off a little bit. He tried to swing from the side. He didn't connect. He didn't get no good connect. I whip out that motherfucking block on his head, put it to his nose. That nigga start running for his life, nigga. Sorry about that. That's why he told Mr. Fab, don't put that shit out. Don't put the footage out, bro. We don't look too good. Do you know that would have been a, a victory to, to put, you know, make me look bad? But it didn't make me look bad. It, everybody else had to run. I'm the only nigga with a gun on broad daylight, nigga, in front of this nigga stole with cameras. My ego didn't, I didn't listen to my ego. Pop this nigga. Don't pop it. Seeing you niggas running was good enough for me. See that? And then they try to brag about it. Oh, yeah, we ran you out of here. We did. No, 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 no. I have an appointment with Africa. You don't know that. And I just had my baby. So when I left the bay, nigga, I was on my way to go see my, to go be there with my baby. But I missed the birth of my baby. That nigga almost died. Him and Mr. Fab could have been dead. And I would have been in San Quentin. They got the evidence of them bragging about something that's nothing worth bragging. You swung and didn't connect good. And that, 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 that you like that? Man, that's like attempted murder. You trying to give credit for attempted murder. In the streets, we only, you only get credit for the murder, not attempted murder. So swinging and not connecting good, that's not a good. That's not good. And you got muscles this big. <laughs> nigga, JT weigh 150 pounds, nigga. I was at about 150 pounds at that time. Probably at 170 right now, but back then, I was about, about 150. Yeah, about a 150. Wow, I was on pills, all type of shit, nigga. Alcohol, Ciroc. Nigga, finna kill a nigga. I'm fresh back out the war from Atlanta, nigga. Killing a bay nigga was gonna be easy, but not on camera. See, if I'd have ever caught one of them niggas at night somewhere, nigga, I'd have gunned their ass down. But it wasn't, it wasn't me. Now, nigga, we forever lifetime enemies. Yeah, and remember, nigga, dropping a bag on a nigga head way from Africa. See, if I ever wake up mad or something, that's what could happen. Man, go over there and spray that nigga Mr. Fab stole down. Whoever in there, fuck it. Spray that bitch down. And then pay some more niggas to spray it down when he open it back up again on another day. That's that, that's that, that's that shit right there. That's that Chicago shit. That's that goddamn. Matter of fact, that's that Oakland shit. Yeah, that Oakland do that. Gun your block down, then come back a week or two later, gun somebody else down. Yeah, but I, I've seen it more up close and personal. Chicago, uh, New Orleans, yeah, same day service. Come back and kill anybody who out there. That's not me. I, I don't want to kill anybody. No, I don't like that. 
I don't like that. So yeah, y'all just take this and run with it. Cause one thing, I'm a good example of how to make it through hella shit. Remember, y'all seen all the controversy on my name. He broke he on dope. He, he, you know, don't nobody care about him. I don't care about you, niggas. And I got plenty of money, nigga. And drugs is something I could control. I don't let the drugs control me. Fuck that, nigga. I don't want to be no drugged out ass nigga. Look at my face. You could tell. JT doing good. Wherever you get, whatever JT doing, he doing good. Healthy, nigga. Caked up. Got my family with me, and that's it. I'm praying for the people on here that street niggas like me. I ain't talking about you goody two shoes niggas. I'm talking about niggas who could be dying today or going to jail today for something that's happening. I'm praying that y'all make it through whatever that that situation is that you get to a better location where you're not even thinking about dying or killing or going to jail. Say that with me. Nigga ain't thinking about dying, killing, or going to jail. I pray that you make it to that place in your life right now for whoever watching me. That's in the street life shit. You ain't got to be a bad person to get killed. That clown ass nigga on there. Like, oh, you don't need to do this if you're a good person. Shit me. A good nigga better keep a Glock on him if he live in this apartment complex. If he live over here or over there where the shit going on. A good nigga better not go to the corner store without no pistol nigga on certain days. He going to get killed nigga. If the, if the beef on they keep, the random nigga who at the corner store, they don't care when they come from across town and they got to hit some. And your stupid ass out there without no gun tomorrow. I'm a good person. I'm a good man. I'm friends with everyone. Yeah, friends with everyone ass niggas get killed too, boy. So I think that's what made me start carrying a pistol, boy. I ain't did nothing to these niggas. Damn, they killing anybody. Well, I better get a gun. <laughs> Fuck. Do you know how I start carrying a gun? That's how I start carrying a gun. When I start learning about, you know, in the beef, they kill whoever. Whoever, you mean tell me they gonna kill anyone? Yeah, nigga, them niggas said they coming back to get to get it. But I didn't do nothing. Don't matter. When they killed niggas and they start jumping on, they'd kill whoever was standing there. Niggas like, hey, homie, I ain't got nothing to do. And still get gunned down. Niggas putting their hands up like, hey, bro, I ain't with them niggas. They never did care. They'd still shoot the person who putting his hands up, telling the nigga he ain't got nothing to do with it. I said, I better keep me a gun. These niggas will shoot you even if you tell them you ain't. Hey, y'all, you know I ain't got nothing to do with that. They don't want to hear that. They looking for blood. Nigga, when once niggas looking for blood, that mean anybody could get it. <laughs> yeah. I see that dumb nigga ain't came back on there and said nothing. See that? Y'all cool ass niggas be cool, man. You niggas stay wherever y'all at. In y'all basketball gyms, at the school, at the church, you know, at your girl house. Just stay doing that. Niggas like me, we out in the mix. We in the middle of the shit. We, you know, we, you know, I like to be with action at it. We're spicy a little bit. I like that shit. I don't like it enough to stay in it though. But I stayed in it long enough, so I know the way out. God is your way out through your prayers. Remain street, nigga. Remain hard. Ask God to show you the way of the things that are gonna give you your happiness, or like pursuing music. And pursuing dreams or clothing line or you finna open up your vegan restaurant or you finna sell, you know, tennis shoes. Do that make you happy? Man, then that's the shit I'm talking about. Do you know you would be too busy to die and go to jail if you was working on your dream? It's a sad thing to get killed while you working on your dream, though. That's 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 a sad thing right there. God bless King Von and them. They lived a gangster life. Got killed on the best night of his his best night. He got murdered, nigga, in front of everybody. You know what I mean? Nah, we ain't shouting on no Mac Mars, nigga. Let me block your bitch ass for saying that on my shit. Bow, you did. I ain't shouting on no bitch ass niggas. Boy, I don't give a fuck about shouting no nigga out. Shout out to JT, the bigger figure, feed Panamera, locks home, glocks home, nigga. That's who I'm shouting out, nigga. I'm the nigga. I don't care what no nigga got out there. That's not it, nigga. Them niggas ain't doing what I'm doing. By the time niggas realize they should have been expanding to other places, that place out there, nigga, finna be fucked up in a few more days. Nigga, watch what happened. Nigga, that virus shit fucking America up. That virus shit had fucked it up for a lot of people, boy. Certain people, businesses shut down and they can't open up. Imagine you a barbershop and they, the city talking about they gonna find you $10,000. Or 5000 I don't know how much it is. If your business get caught open, 
and then police niggas come knock on the door, hey, you got too many people in here, or this, or that. If they shut the clubs down in Atlanta, you're going to see a lot of people go crazy, nigga. Right now, they got them bitches open, nigga. If they shut the clubs down in Atlanta, Georgia, that's where the whole black America is going to Atlanta to go party there. Nigga, every club is open. But in California, they say, nigga, 10 people can't be in a club together or some shit or you know, 20, 30, I don't know. Something about social distance and you can't stand next to a nigga and all that. Man, I don't want to be around that. That's crazy as hell to me. But they letting other people do it, but they not letting certain people do it. So, uh, you know, just find your way, man. If your state, if that state ain't popping for you, go to the state where you can still be successful. That, that man, they've been saying I'm worth five million for 15 years. Nigga, them niggas lying on that shit, man. I don't know who who putting that five million dollar shit on me, man. They got me like I'm a broke ass nigga. Nigga, I donated five million dollars down there in Atlanta, Georgia, nigga. I hired people, nigga, and put people on, man. Them motherfuckers lying on my, my worth. That's okay. After my new deals out here, they gonna put 25 million on that bitch. Or, all right, nigga, I'm gonna start suing my. <laughs> Nigga, quit telling me I'm a so I'm only worth five million every year. That's who writing that shit. I need to know, nigga. How's you calculate my value? Cause somebody's lying. I don't like that, nigga. My shit should have went up to a ten by now or a twelve or something, but I guess not. I guess not. That shit fucked up. Nah, that's real because I could be worth more. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not mad at you, homie. I'm mad at them people who keep saying I'm only worth five million every year. He's worth five million. Nigga, where you get the number from? That shit out of pocket. Whoever writing that shit out of pocket. How much Curtis Snow worth? Is Curtis Snow worth at least one million? Yeah, I need to Google that. Cause somebody tell me that. Cause I, I own CurtisSnow.com and I own Curtis Snow name, nigga. I'm hoping he get famous again, but look like he just turned out to be a dope fiend ass nigga. That, that only looked good for me and him in the movies. We can't be dope fiends in real life, but in the movie, we could snort coke, pop pills, shoot niggas, rob niggas. That don't look good in real life, though. It don't look good. Yeah, now I want to see. I want somebody. How much is Curtis Snow worth? Shit, man. He should be worth at least a million by now. That'd be good. <laughs> 10,000 Fuck no So you mean I gave this nigga I gave him way more than that And now this thing only worth 10,000 Don't tell me I got played by a crack addict bro Okay Kurt worth 300 Okay Okay that's cool then That's a, that, You know that's a little bit better Shit I was about to say Please don't let it say 10,000 I invested with the wrong nigga I'm just saying but he worth five thousand though in real life. <laughs> Me and that nigga was a tag team that could have been a great tag team all the way to the top. But jealousy is a thing that if I'm worth more than you and I make all the money and I'm the one bringing in the money to get it, that guy that's looking good. Kurt, we riding it. I eight sprinters, nigga Lambos, nigga. Come on, BMWs, nigga. We wearing new clothes every day, nigga. We taking trips to Cali, nigga. We on private jets with Snoop Dogg, nigga. Come on, we got it. That nigga turned into my worst jealous. <laughs> oh, man. But I have to tell you this shit, though. Because I just want everything I touch. God gave me the vision on how to make something pop. I know how to make shit pop. You know what I mean? Like in Africa. Just give me a few more days in Africa, God willing. You should see some spectacular shit happening with JT in Africa. The first phase was just learning how to live in Africa. So this channel, you've seen it on here, JT, Africa, you know, water wells, the village life, all that. Now it's time to do the balling life. Nigga, I already did the African life where I just live like a villager. You know, just be living like a villager, having fun. You know, just enjoying animals and shit. You know, I bought land. I got farmland now and all that type of shit. But now, JT in Nairobi, Kenya, this ain't Burkina Faso. This Nairobi. 
He said, I had no idea you was behind Kirk. Kirk came out first by itself, and then everything else after that, I'm the one that promoted his name and put him in all these movies that made other niggas want to fuck with him. So, you know, he signed over all his rights to me. No matter what happened, JT on you, boy. I caught that nigga on the day where he was geeked up, nigga, and he was acting like a bitch-ass nigga. So, therefore, when you geeked up, you just care about money. So, I took him to the lawyer's office, nigga, made him sign some tremendous paperwork. I love it. Yeah, I got his ass back. He stole shit. He broke up my house. Did hella little shit. Drug addict type shit that I overlooked. I'm like, shit, he still got a value. Let me keep on filming. Let me keep on working with this nigga. Even though he jealous of me, the whole world don't know that me and this nigga is really beefing right now. But for money, that nigga will come. Uh, uh, he come for the money. So, now this is this is me just telling facts. A lot of people that's watching me right now is new people that never, you know, they never knew none of this shit. You see my man say, man, I didn't know you was behind Kurt. Yeah. Snow on the Bluff 1 is mine now. I'm putting that on Trap Flicks. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, this is some good shit. Yeah, he played himself. Atlanta loved Kurt. So by me hiring him, it brought a lot of love for me too. Not that he was my protector. I'm the only nigga that was shooting when the shit popped off with me and Kurt and situations happened. I'm the one that did the shooting. That nigga didn't do no shooting. He sold the AK I gave him. Nigga, for, for $400, bro. I bought that nigga a brand new AK. That nigga sold that bitch. Talking about somebody stole it. How you let a nigga steal a brand new AK, Kurt? Then this boy told me, Fee. He sold it, Fee. I'm like, I'll never buy you another gun ever in life, nigga. <laughs> you sold an AK, you stupid ass nigga. Yeah, that nigga signed for hundred dollars a week. I gave him five thousand or three thousand and a hundred dollars a week for a year, which was five thousand dollars. Fifty two weeks in a year, so that was five thousand more I owed him. I just gave him a lump sum. Then he didn't have to wait a year. Yeah. Your trap flicks will be back live in a few days. God willing, the brand new trap flicks will be live. I won't even be talking on Instagram. I'm going to be talking on trap flicks. Y'all niggas going to get y'all accounts on there, talk your shit. Some of y'all going to buy your own channel on there so you can run your own videos on trap flicks. You could charge to put niggas on there and you keep the money. Hello. It's like a world star, nigga. Then I got the music side where those that want to load up their albums where you can listen to it from your app, the movies, or music. Every album I ever did, every movie I ever did gonna be on trap list. Niggas gonna come fuck with that shit. Why? That motherfucker back. Now I got that African shit behind me. That shit gonna be... Yes. Nah, this is real talk. And I spent a lot of money to do this. And it took me hella long. Trap list app been down for two years. Damn near three years. But my bootleg movies go crazy. One year ago, I had trap flicks on, on YouTube and I put all the movies on YouTube. A nigga came and double back and hacked my shit. Deleted everything off of there. So that wasn't a move about money. That was a move to shut me down, not knowing. I'm, I was almost at 100,000 subscribers. Now I'm back to 47,000 and the only thing on my page ain't no movies, even though I put a couple on there. I'm on there just talking. I realized they don't care about if I'm acting or not. They want to hear me talk. Damn, nigga, I got videos that's had 200,000 views off me just talking. 20,000 views. It's 80,000. 100,000. I say, damn, so you mean to tell me I could just talk? God damn it. God damn it. Nigga. <laughs> that shit fucked me up that I could just talk for about 20, 30 minutes about anything. You know, I'm like I'm talking right now. In a video like this, it end up doing 50,000 views or 30,000 views. I say, damn. I got to... So I'm more valuable now that I'm just talking. My movie shit made me famous. Now they just want to hear me talk. I ain't even rapping on there. People was interested. Man, with this nigga Fig on? Let me see what Fig talking about today. People come to my page. 
Fig, we, we out here fucking with you, boy. I'm in Chicago. I'm in New Orleans. I'm in Baltimore. This is New York. Hey, this is L.A. Man, we love the movies, bro. Keep going. I'm like, see that? Damn. Yeah, shout out to the Bars Awards. I brought Hunters Point niggas that was beefing. And I used the Bars Award. I said, if y'all want to go to the Bars Award, y'all got to stop shooting each other. <laughs> Nigga, God bless me to bring Harbor Road, West Point. I bought a limousine for them, limousine for them. You hear me? Them niggas should have kept it loyal with me. Harbor Road niggas kept it loyal. Fuck them West Point niggas. I hope they all get killed out there. Straight up. Nigga, I hope all them niggas die, nigga. And their kids, nigga. Fuck them niggas. Straight up. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I love them niggas more than they love they self. But now, shit, them niggas all turn poisonous. So therefore, nigga, fuck them niggas. Yeah, sorry about that. Hell yeah. Oh, no, nah, they gonna try to buy me out, but that's the shit that gonna put me, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. No, nah, I'm just saying. All I need to do is hit 200,000 subscribers and I'm going to be worth more than $5 million. At 500,000 subscribers, oh my goodness. And at 1 million subscribers on Traplix on my own. Do you know 1 million subscribers at $20 a, uh, $20 a month? It's some people that going to support my shit at $20 a month. Nigga, I ain't going to do that little $5, $10 shit. I might. Then I'm going to have a thing on there and say, you want to support me, nigga? Put down a hundred dollars, nigga. Support my campaign. Let's blow this shit up even better. Boy, listen, at ten thousand niggas at a hundred dollars, there's some people that support me like that. Straight up. You got the footage. Okay, Gab and Bug and I'm Valer niggas say, yeah. Yeah. See, niggas thought they were gonna read they thought they was gonna wipe my history out of what I did that nobody else did before. See, niggas just tried last year. The bait just tried to destroy me. Thank God I got down south in the Midwest and L.A. And Long Beach and Compton and Watts and all Grape Street. I got real street niggas that love me and I go to them bitches by myself. The Bay Area niggas acted funny with the nigga who could have just helped the Bay get connected properly with down south. The Bay and down south still not connected properly. Bay Area niggas going down south getting killed for their weed right now. Nigga, buy a pound, buy two pounds, buy three pounds, kill you when they come back to buy the five or the ten. The back door. Change his diaper. Will diaper at boom boom? Is his diaper change? Oh, okay. Come on. Yeah, lift the black man is what's gonna work. That's what I've been doing. Lift the black man. That's what my job is. Yep. Yeah, another one trying to hold me back. There you go. The numbers back up there, and I ain't even I only put up a couple of the movies. Now I thank everybody that supported me, though. See, I'm not an arrogant nigga. I'm a I'm a thankful person. Nigga, without y'all, I wouldn't have made it. Without the regular people that was right there, it, like supporting my shit, I wouldn't have made it. That's why I say, nigga, down south, Midwest, uh, East Coast. Them niggas like, nigga, we love you, fig, with the bait niggas on. I'm like, shit, I don't know, but fuck them bait niggas. Boy, listen, I bet you they can't come down south, though, and come have fun like I just did. See, that's a problem right there. JT nigga has made it hard. Now, I, I'm not saying that I'm against bait niggas. I'm just saying certain bait niggas is going to go down south and get their face ate. They're going to get robbed. They're going to get tested. You know what I mean? Mr. Fab tried to backdoor me with Zoda Roaster. He knew what the plan was, that it was some snake shit. And he didn't say nothing, nigga. I got them niggas text messages. Yeah. Take a nigga down. There you go. The Bay niggas fucking over their own niggas. I made it for the Bay. I'm making it for the Bay. And I'm making it for black America. From New York to California, JT is the only nigga out there in Africa representing for us. If JT do good out there, that means we all just did good. I'm going to say that again. If JT do good in Africa, that means nigga, every street nigga or every black nigga in America can do good too. Look, they try to, they try to blackball me. How you going to blackball a nigga who left the bay? <laughs> See, that's the crazy part. Yeah, we ran you out of here. 
Bro, come on, bro. Why y'all using them words, ran somebody out of here? The last time I was out there with them machine guns, you niggas called the police on me, and I got raided the same day Nipsey Hussle got killed. Nigga, I could have got killed. I walked out my hotel room, Motel 6, to nigga, a hundred motherfucking red dots all on my body, nigga. All the police out there with bulletproof motherfucking trucks, two helicopters right there, nigga. They all got the guns. Who told on me? Mr. Fab Zoda Roaster, nigga. Mr. Fab and Zoda Roaster, nigga. Period. Mr. Fab Zoda Roaster, nigga. Watch. JT out here with a hundred rounds, nigga. And my bitch got a switch on it, nigga. My shit gonna go. Brr, brr, nigga. I'm out here in bulletproof vest. Do you hear me? I did not want to come back on that. That shit almost could have put me in prison or I could have got killed walking out that hotel room. I want to shout, shout out to my Richmond niggas from North Richmond, Central Richmond, and South Richmond. Even though they all have at odds sometimes. Them, them three groups of people, that's who was with me every day that niggas didn't never see on Instagram. Them niggas like, we gonna kill one of these niggas playing with you, feed. Them the niggas that said, give me the gun, feed. Because you hot right now. Give me the gun. How the Richmond niggas knew? They raided my hotel room the next morning. Nipsey Hussle got killed, nigga, at the exact moment that I was getting released. I turned my phone on, and on my live, it said, hey, pray for Nipsey. I'm like, pray for Nipsey? Then another nigga, hey, bro, pray for Nipsey. I'm like, what they talking about? Yeah, they, Nipsey just got hit. I'm like, what you mean he just got hit? Nigga, he got shot in front of the stove. I say, oh, my God. I say, hey, y'all on this live, I got to shut it down. Let me go check on this shit. When I turned that shit on and saw that man laid out like that, I was like, that's why I, I said in Alabama in front of my stove, I'm going to keep my 100-round machine gun on my neck. And if y'all used to see me every day, I had that machine gun on my neck. Why? And if you ain't no felon, you could carry a machine gun. Nigga, on your neck. Nigga, I start wearing my shit like a necklace. But I wish a nigga would run up over to my store playing me. I'm a gun a nigga ass down right here. They killed Nip, nigga. When I seen he didn't have no gun on him and none of the shooters was there with him, I say, that's that feel mo shit. Niggas know what's finna happen. Everybody ran and left him right there. He is the champion for us. They let him get killed. They let him get killed, nigga, in front of his own store, in front of his daughter, bro. God damn. I said, nigga, Nipsey Hussle lying in his song. He said, fuck being safe. I'm staying dangerous. I heard that in front of my store. I start keeping my machine gun on my neck because of Nipsey Hussle, what he said in the song. Then he got killed without even no pistol. On him. And then he got killed by an ex-friend that was in videos and pictures with him. When they showed me them pictures with them niggas together, I say, that's the feel most shit that I knew was going to happen to me. A nigga who with me, that's jealous, that ain't getting what he want. He, and, and he was a rapper too. So your rap career ain't working. Plus you ain't getting no money. Nigga, you was jealous, nigga. Nigga, you, nigga, your jealous broke homeboy will kill you, man, in front of 50 witnesses. Or did all them niggas know what was going to happen and they just let Nip get wiped like that? In Birmingham, nigga, you got to have a machine gun or something, nigga. That's what made Birmingham niggas think twice. Whoever thought they was going to run in there. Oh, we could rob this nigga, J. No, you're not. JT over there in a bulletproof car, bulletproof vest. That nigga got 100-round drums. He got 357 in his pocket and a Glock in that pocket, nigga. No, you're not. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to die in the shootout then, nigga, because you're not going to rob me, boy. I didn't let Atlanta niggas rob me, and I had a 380 on me, and it was three niggas with Draco, so I couldn't use my gun. I had to I use Allah. Thank you, Allah, for blessing me. Thank you, Farrakhan. Say, don't put more faith in a gun than in Allah, because the, the gun can let you down, but Allah won't. And the nigga, why the police took my gun? <laughs> Nigga, I got cold. Four, five guns down there, nigga. As long as you ain't no felon, they don't even care. <laughs> nigga, they don't even give a shit. Down south, nigga. Down south is the only place you can get caught with guns and they give them back. But they won't give it to you. They give it to whoever it's registered to. God damn it. That was my dream come true. Nigga, I got guns on me in every pocket. Nigga, boy, listen. It felt good, but at a certain point, I knew... Nigga, you can still die with all these guns. Guns ain't going to save you, nigga. You got to go to a better environment. Because all these guns is only good to kill. They really not good to keep you safe.
Yeah, you had to turn your head. with turn it one more time, nigga. You don't know no nigga in the world that got shot with AKs, nigga. And both my body parts, nigga. Legs, body, hip. Nigga, stomach and hip. I don't supposed to be able to walk right now. My favorite one, 7.62 flying by my face when I try to block them bullets when he's going. 7.62. Yeah, that's what Flying by my face. That bitch almost. Yeah, and everything in my body work. But I like my scar, though. That's why I always show it. See? What look bad to you is my trophy. Nigga, this street, this street nigga trophy right here. Any nigga who got scars on them, nigga, we, the war wound is everything. The bigger the war wound, the more I know you was in some shit. <laughs> you hear me? Real talk. That's real shit. Nigga, this is how you got to thank God even more. Why? Because he blessed you, nigga. God do love you, nigga. Hey! I need to. It's good? Look, nigga, I'm over here at the, in the hood. I got my nigga in the hood. My black ass nigga right there gonna keep everything organized for me. Now, this is some good game for y'all, though. Everybody put God first, even if you a pistol toter. That's the advice I could give you. Let me let me say that again. When them niggas had me surrounded, I kept saying, Allah Akbar. <laughs> Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Shout out to Farrakhan. I say the prayer gonna work better. The walking dead. Nigga, this is a dead man wound right here. This the real dead man wound. I was they wasn't never it wasn't supposed to never get sealed up, nigga. Cause they sealed it up at first and they had to go back in there again and open that bitch up. Nigga, I was supposed to be dead. Nigga, my shit was boy, listen. Woo! Thank you, Lord. You ain't never saw a nigga with this wound. Nobody, nigga. You ain't saw no nigga with not with this one. You saw a nigga with a slit and they closed it up. AK bullets eat your body up on the inside. That's why my nigga nut RP, he got shot right here. With one bullet. After they sprayed a hundred bullets, only one hit nut right here. He died. Bankroll Fresh got hit with an AK bullet. One on this side. He died. I was the third nigga get hit with the Draco. Hit me right here. I was saying the, the Muslim prayers from, 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 from far kind of That's why when they be like, fuck far kind all it. Man, that man taught me some universal principles that fuck around and worked. Nigga, I'm still here talking to y'all right now. That's why, I love, that's why I keep my shirt off. I don't care about that wound. Uh, I got it. I got it. Thank you. Yeah, I don't care about no wound. Nigga, I care about being alive. I don't care if that wound was right across my face. You will see me right here talking to y'all. Nigga, my nigga's dead. Nigga, nut dead. He can't even kiss his mama no more. Nigga, bankroll fresh. He just blew up. Ah, my nigga. What's happening? Good, man. Yes, sir. Bankroll fresh, man. Gone, nigga, right when he blew up. Come on. My nigga. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, G. Nah, that shit for real, bro. I got to tell you. I got to tell you. That's why Filthy Rich with that bullshit. Oh, nigga, that's why you got shot in your stomach. Nigga, I'm alive. What about your niggas? Ain't they dead from 38s and Glocks and shit? Well, then, nigga, I'm harder than all your dead homies then, nigga. So whatever you want to say, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Clown ass nigga, boy, don't never do that. Cause when you get shot, you might get shot with a 22 right here. And that bitch ricochet through your whole body. A bullet this big. But when it's hot out the gun, that bitch like cutting through your body, nigga, like butter. Little bullets go through your body, nigga. Uh, guess what a nigga told me? Hey, now. Guess what a nigga told me? He told me this nigga 89.91. Our partner got killed from a 25. A 25. Okay? His name was Fitzgerald. He got killed. Man, he got shot in his body. When he ran, that's what killed him. Of one bullet, this nigga this big. The 25 bullet is only this big. But when he started to run, 
the bullet went from here. It went, you know, it went all through his body. And I'm like, how do a bullet go through your body? Nigga, it's hot. And if you run it, you make it travel. I say, oh, my nigga say, I'd rather get shot with a 357 nigga that go through me than to get shot with a 25 nigga because that bitch is made to ricochet. I say, damn, I never thought about that. I never thought about that until I, until, until nigga, because bullets travel. That's why they made something called a 22. It's deadly. Fuck. Fuck. The AK bullets went straight through my leg, through my bones and everything, through my hip bone and everything right here. Boom. That bitch went straight through so quick, I was just numb. It didn't hurt till later. By that time, I'm already going into surgery and shit. I hope somebody listening. I want y'all to just be thankful, nigga, and say your prayers even if you a gun toter. Pray that the bullets don't hit you right. You might get shot as a street nigga. You can survive. Some niggas don't survive. They die on their first time getting hit. I got hit multiple times, nigga. I am so thankful. <clears throat> I'm a nigga in the streets. I get in trouble. I wasn't no nigga that don't get in trouble. I get in trouble. I'm with somebody I shouldn't be with. I'm somewhere that I shouldn't be. I'm doing something I probably shouldn't be doing. I'm just saying, that shit led to shit. Okay? So for me to live to talk about it, it's only right that I tell other street niggas, hey, bro, keep your prayers at it. I don't care if you sell dope hair rhymes, kilos. I don't care if you rob niggas. I don't care if you do drive-bys. Listen, say your prayers. God is going to deliver you from that one day if you sincere. That don't mean he not going to let you go through some shit. Okay? But if you say your prayers, then at least you have a chance. Where God is part of your situation and he can help get you through it. Imagine the street niggas that don't even say their prayers, though. I was taking care of mamas and babies when I got shot. That's why I didn't let them niggas rob me. Nigga, I just fed your mama and kids, but you didn't rob me in front of your mama and them around the corner. You wait to come around the corner. Now you want to rob me over here? Nope, sorry about that. Today we finna find out if you niggas is killers or not. Because I'm not finna get no money out of my pocket to no nigga. Period. And that's when the bullets start flying about. It took them 10 minutes before they shot me. I argued with these niggas for 10 minutes. That's how I knew it. Man, these niggas arguing. A real robber would've hit me in the head with the gun. Bitch ass nigga, huh? Bitch, give it up, nigga. Okay, you serious, huh, nigga? Them niggas didn't even do that. Them niggas like, hey, bro, you gotta give us the money. So you just pointing it. No, oh, no, I ain't gonna just give the money off just pointing it. I'm, I'm smarter than that. That bitch might not be loaded or it might be loaded, but one thing for sure, you, a robber, you gotta hit a nigga in the head, poke a nigga in the face with the pistol. Something that, that lets me know this is a, you mean what you saying? Them niggas tried to make a demand. And then they put the littlest nigga up and made him shoot me. The little nigga, that, that's a nigga in my movie. Nigga, you in my movies. I done fed you, nigga. They knew they had to shoot, nigga. But the other two niggas with the, with the Dracos didn't shoot. The one nigga shot. Bah! Then he shot it, stood over me and went, ba ba ba. And then he ran off. He didn't make sure I was dead or nothing. I'm like, see? He didn't really want to do it. But he had to do it. A real robber not going to talk with you. He hit you in the head. As soon as he whip out, first thing I'm doing, hitting you in the head with it. Nigga, nigga, take that off. Nigga, give me that. Nigga, and then I'm forcing my hands in your pocket. I got my nigga. We finna just grab you then. Niggas didn't grab me or nothing. Niggas just surrounding me, making demands as we walking. I'm like, boy, I can't do it. Shout out to my four season niggas over there that called the ambulance right then and there. The ambulance was there in five minutes. I never saw that before. Another nigga down the street got hit. He died. Another nigga around the corner, he got hit. He died. I was the, Out of the three that got shot right there, all of them was attempted robberies. I was the only one survived. Two more niggas that was a little bit further away got hit. So five niggas got hit at the same time in Atlanta. I was one of them. Three dead, two alive, and then that's why they put the word out, JT dead. They didn't smoke fig out there in Atlanta. 
Then two days, three days later, I was on my live. They was like, what? That nigga fuck around made it. Big blessings. So shout out to Allah. Thank you. I just gave y'all some good words. Please take the words and run with it. All my street niggas, prayers, 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 and do your thing. And one day you might not have to sell dope no more or do this or do that. You know, the little, the little shit that we might be doing. One day you won't have to do that. But you got to be alive, nigga, to find out if you got to do that or not. If you did, now nah, Kurt didn't have nothing to do with that shit. I know my shooter. I know who ordered him to shoot me. I sprayed curtain and blocked down. Them niggas didn't want no smoke. That's why Kurt waited for me to come to Africa to tell the world how he really feel. Kurt, you sure got a lot to say about Fig, but you was with him every day. So if he was this bad, then nigga, you a bitch. You let this nigga treat you like a hoe then. <laughs> nigga, you done made 20 movies with this nigga, but, but he not a real nigga. <laughs> and this nigga been in your motherfucking hood. I didn't stay in no Four Seasons. Hell nah. I just fed they mamas, nigga. I put Four Seasons on. I'm the first nigga coming. That ain't from Four Seasons to come do a movie in that bitch. I shot three movies in them niggas' projects before the hate really just came all the way out. It was too late. I've already been made my money. Nigga, I didn't already look good for the city of Atlanta. JT in Four Seasons. JT got the whole Four Seasons behind him right now. In five, six, seven movies. Nigga, come on, bro. I did that. JT nigga over there in Bowen Homes and Bankhead. JT on Sales Avenue. JT on Fort Ford, Auburn Ave. JT over there nigga in Kirkwood with Future them be. That nigga in Edgewood. JT in the Ham. JT in Hickory Park. JT was in every hood in Atlanta that mattered by myself. Atlanta loved me. Street niggas in Atlanta respected me, nigga. That's how I was able to do it. It wasn't because I was tough. But Africa is the biggest hood I've ever been in. Have you ever seen 10,000 street niggas in the same area? <laughs> Have you ever seen 10,000 hood niggas in the same location? That's what you're going to see when you come to, a, to Africa. Don't be scared. They're not tripping on you if you ain't tripping on them. If a nigga finna rob you, you could tell that he finna try to rob you. The most times out here, nigga try to rob you by just taking your shit. Then sometimes niggas got a gun. But most niggas that got guns don't even got a bullet in the motherfucking gun. So learn about that. They rather get caught with a gun than with no bullets. If you get caught with a gun with bullets, it's worse. If you get caught with a gun with no bullets, then it ain't that bad. <laughs> Damn, shout out to my niggas out in Africa. No bullet gun is the choice of a real robber. Because they don't want to kill you. They ain't coming to kill you. But the fear of the gun go, motherfucker, give me the money right now. Give me your watch. Give me your chain. Give me a... Oh, shit, he got a 357. Let me get this nigga my shit. It ain't even no bullets in it. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> hey, listen. That's why I took them bullets. Nigga, I got to get shot. I'm a real street nigga, bro. I can't let a nigga take my shit and then it was a fluke. And now my name out there in the street that I got robbed, I'd rather the name be out there. I got shot. That feel better. JT was not cooperating. I'm the most hard-headed victim they ever saw. Give me the money. Get on the ground. Nigga, I'm not getting on no ground. So you can shoot me in the back of my head. No, I'd rather get shot standing up. That's why I got shot standing up. I didn't get shot laying down like, oh, no, I'd rather get shot standing up. I'd rather not get shot, period. But if I got to get shot, I'm, I'm taught and trained under Minister Farrakhan. Brothers and sisters, no matter what you're facing, you stand on your feet. If you're going to die, you die like a man. Don't die like a coward. Don't die like a little hoe. Don't die like a pussycat. Die like a man. That's what he's, That's what God expects all of us to do. So you're more scared of these niggas with the gun than God that could protect you. That's how your faith get tested. I pass my faith test. I never turn my back on Allah. Thank you, Allah. So that's my time, y'all. I'm gone. Y'all be straight. Y'all be smooth, man. You know, I had to do what I had to do. Uh, Feel more Africa. We up next. Peace.